All right. Thank you all for joining the webinar tonight. My name is Mike Wood, your mentor and instructor tonight. We are going to talk about a creative strategy on eBay that uh, can provide a lot more than you might think or you might expect. So, you know, one thing I uh, have enjoyed about eBay is the opportunity to to explore all kinds of creative strategies and avenues of making money that many people don't even think about. And uh, this is going to show you one of those options. If anybody has a question, type it into the questions box, and I will uh, bring it up and, and answer it here as we go through the webinar. So let's get started. We're going to just do a simple search here tonight, and this is going to be the uh, discussion uh, at hand. We're going to do a search for one word, cuttings. Cuttings on eBay. We're going to type that in there and run a search. Now, what I'm looking for here is to find options to uh, to share you know, share an opportunity to find things that not everybody is thinking about or, or uh, selling on eBay, but show you that there are opportunities that, that can be great. Uh, I am going to change, uh, or I'm going to adjust my search here. We're going to go in and look at the search uh, um, narrowing options. The uh, What do we call these over here? Anyway, we're going to narrow down our search to just United States. So we had what, oh, I think over 7,000, 7,281 searches here. We're going to go to US only. Since that's my focus uh, audience here, and that takes us down to 6,158. So it didn't cut a lot out. The majority of these listings are in the United States. Okay, so 6,158 listings. We can see there that price point is uh, holding right around the uh, 10 to 15 dollar range on a lot of these. A little bit, some that are a little bit under, some that are a little bit uh, over. And then we're going to come over here, and out of 6,100, if we go to the show only section and click sold items, typical approach to researching on eBay. How many are sold? Holy cow, 13,300. This is a phenomenal product, if this were one product. But still, it's a phenomenal area of interest here because we have more than twice the amount of active listings have sold in the sold research. That's huge. That, that is a, a huge am amount of items. Now, we may go a little bit into detail showing you how to narrow this down and, and be more specific with some of this research. I'm not too worried about that uh, overall, but more just want to show you the, the options and opportunities. What we're looking at here are plants, plant cuttings, things uh, plants that will grow from a cutting where you can cut a part of the plant off and ship it off and send it to somebody, they can stick it in water or dirt or whatever and it will grow. Okay? And that's what we are, are looking at here. And there are all kinds of, of different things, all kinds of price points in this. Some of these listings you'll notice are done on bids. Some of them are fixed price listings um, like this one right here, buy it now. Some are free shipping. If they don't say free shipping like this one up here, then that means they're charging shipping. Okay, so there are a few uh, little details to look at. Some of these have short, um, short little uh, uh, titles there uh, with just a few keywords. Some have longer titles. I would recommend a longer title whenever possible. Fill that title up with as many relevant keywords as you can, relevant being the, uh, the key to the keywords. All right. Okay, so we look at this, and what I'm hoping to, to do for you is to expand your mind to think about the opportunities here. Uh, again, huge, huge sell-through rate. This is amazing to see this kind of a sell-through rate where 6, 000, only 6,100 or so active listings, and we've got over double that that have sold. That's an industry to be involved in. 
Um, that is, is phenomenal to see that. So that is something we want to see. Honestly, if I see even 20% sell-through rate, that's good. That's worth selling. Um, so to see over 100%, that's, that's magnificent. That's, uh, it's incredible. So, um, so if we look at, uh, at some of these, what are these? Let's, let's open this up and just check. Now, I want you to think about, are there things here that we could buy somewhere, grow, and then cut parts of it off and sell it? Are there things that are already growing in my area that I could cut and sell? Right? That's what I want you to start thinking about. And as you look at what we're sharing here and the research we're doing tonight, look in your own area. If you have a yard and you have plants, what plants are they? Could you sell them on eBay? Do a little research. Find out what they are. See if they'll sell. See if they can grow from a cutting. Okay? Succulents and cacti are um, common plants that grow from a cutting, but many trees will do that as well. So we've opened up this uh, uh, monster plant, variegated um, Monstera bursigiana albo cutting. And uh, from this uh, individual, if we look at the original listing, we can see some of the details that were offered in this listing. $138.50, and that's with 32 bids, people bidding on it. And that's incredible to me. And as we look at the discussion, that's what they're selling right there. It's, I mean, it's a chunk of the plant. That's all this is. It's, it's a piece of plant, right? It's got roots growing there, so it looks like it's uh, been pulled out of water. It's all wet. Uh, variegated Monstera bursigiana elbow cutting. You will get the cutting in the pictures, shipped with USPS priority mail. All right. Um, let's go over here under seller information block, and on the right-hand side here, we can go to see other items and see other things that this seller is selling and how many they've got six listings this is all the same type of uh, plant or the same plant and they've got several of them listed here they're starting some of these listings at two hundred dollars and that one has a bid that's phenomenal um, then we've got this one a different plant Hoya Carnosa Gray uh, Gray Ghost starting uh, well I don't know it's got two bids and it's fifty two dollars. All right now if we go back over here to the show only we can go to sold listings and we can see the recent sales from this seller. Now this is sales within the last three months. Four hundred nine, four hundred nine results and look at those price points guys. If we take an average here, I'd say the average out of all of these, or the median price perhaps, we're probably looking at around 200 bucks. There are several over 200. There's uh, um, 236, 180, 240, 260, 220, 396, 265, 275. All right, so we're looking at, at $200 times 400 items. We're looking at $8,000 they've made over the last three months, mostly with one plant or one type of plant. Okay, Stem nodes, just the stem nodes. I mean, this is blows me away. This is amazing, <laughs> the amount of money that's coming from this. Now, I don't know how fast that plant grows. That's something worth researching. But if we were to buy one of these, buy one of these cuttings, grow it and as soon as another one comes up cut it and sell it well we've made our money back right and each time we we let that grow and we have more growing we've got the potential of of more money now that might take some time that might be something that it takes some time to to do um, however let's take that right there and uh, we'll just actually we'll go back here and just do a Google search for that plant and see what we can find out here. So here we've got one on Etsy that somebody is selling. Um, we've got uh, uh, 
We've got a $45 one on Etsy. Turup has one for $67.38, $158, uh, $350 on Etsy, $700 on Etsy, $50. And so we've got these these possibilities of, of places where we could buy that and resell it. Easy to grow. All right, well, that's good. That's something we want to hear, right? So as I look at this, doing the, this kind of uh, research here, uh, mostly eBay and Etsy are coming up. Third-party websites is where a lot of people are selling these. And it looks like here's somebody who decided, hey, I can do a whole website on this product. Okay. Little bit of research to find out how you can make this uh, um, grow, what to, what we need to do, um, but there's a plant for a hundred bucks, and if cuttings grow, then that means you can cut somewhere along this plant and grow it, and it'll start a new plant. Um, and I don't know if it's uh, out here on the the leaf stem or if it's the main uh, um, trunk that needs to be cut or how that works, that's something that you'd need a little bit of uh, research. But look at this. These, uh, this uh, variety of the Monstera Deliciosa is hard to find. Add it to your collection quick before someone else does before because these go fast. Oh, I thought that said these grow fast. Um, you can easily grow a thriving plant from our quality cuttings. See below for details. And then down below it tells how they grow. Um, shipped with no soil for ease of shipping, place in water, recommended, or soil to start growing. Um, easy to take care of, requires similar care to the uh, whatever. The only difference is that it grows a bit slower. Recommend keeping your Monstera out of direct sunlight since the white parts of the leaves are more prone to burning. Okay. So, great stuff, great possibilities with the first item on our list of searching here. Okay, so if we break that up, uh, $8,000 divided by three, what are we looking at? Right, because that's, that's a monthly income from one product. What if you had 10 of them? All right, and it might take a little time to develop that, but you're looking at $2,600 just from this one subject. All right, here's another one that sells at a little lower price. Let's open that one. I'm going to open that in a new tab so that I can keep my original listings up here. Uh, I want to go back in this other tab. I want to compare some of these sellers here and see if we've got the same person selling here. Variegata 777 there. And this is a different J. Coveney 70. So, all right. Uh, if we, well, we can go in and look at the details, or we can just jump into the seller's other items and see if they have other things available to us. 17 listings. Quite a few of the Hoya. So, there are several items there. So 17 listings, all right. What about sold for them? 57 sold. Not quite as big a, of a seller, but still a lot of potential here for products. So this one, um, and again, you'd want to research uh, each of these, see if it's something that you have access to. Um, all right, rooted cutting. This plant produces very squat pitchers that are a deep cherry red color with beautiful dark peristomes. The younger pitchers are brighter red that can finish almost black in strong lighting. Uh, even the young pitchers are squat and tubby in appearance at an early age. The peristomes can also start red. However, they almost always finish as darker black. All right requires uh, uh, low parts per million water to thrive. Thrive. They like higher temperatures, so they're kind of a tropical plant. 
vigorous, easy to grow. Um, okay. And they give some more care. So any of this kind of stuff, you can care, you can research the, the care for it. Uh, oh, that one there reminds me of another uh, opportunity of doing uh, aquarium plants and selling them. All right, so we scroll down. There's some, so, oh, these are all from that uh, same person. Let's go back out or back to our original. Um, there's some more variegated Monstera. I want to check and see if that's the same person. Yep, same seller there. Very low competition, right? They've got a corner on the market. Room for somebody else to step in and, and compete a little bit. Um, okay, and then we've got this one. Perfect for terrariums. And we could scroll down and see the details. Usually lowland nursery, same person as the second one that we pulled up. Um, this is one of those pitchers. Plants. I didn't open that in a new tab like I normally do. All right. Um, there's another one we're looking at. Uh, um, Plumeria rooted cutting, 29 bucks. Swedish ivy cuttings times 20. Uh, leaves white blooms, uh, green leaves, white blooms. Swedish ivy. Um, sweet potato vine cuttings times 10. Uh, there's another uh, um, of the pitcher plants. There's another of the variegated monstera. Sweet potato vine again. I would assume these cheaper ones are probably plants that grow faster. Let's go ahead and check one of these. Let's go. Uh, let's go into. I'm going to open this one. I'll take a look at that, and then I want to take a look at this one as well. I'm guessing that's probably the same person right there. So we'll open those up, see original listing, and do the same thing over here. See original listing. Okay. My computer's dragging a bit because I'm using so many resources with the webinar and the recording on it here. Two sold, eight available. Um, we're going to go in and look at other items from that person. Notice all the other things popping up here uh, of other cutting plants. Lyrog, is that the same? Yep, same person there. 15 active listings. How many sold? We can close this one now. 89 sold. Look at all the, the possibilities, all the different things. Fern with root. Fern sword. Um, Banana tree. That's an interesting idea, right? So many possibilities. Begonia cutting. All right, there's uh, more of the pictures. Uh, we haven't even gotten through the first page of results here <laughs> on eBay. Think about that. Um, so many uh, options here. Unrooted cuttings. So here's a rose where they're selling rose cuttings from rose bush. They're not even rooted. They're just cuttings. That's it. And just probably cut when they sell them, right? Um, here's some uh, begonia cuttings. Here's some more of those little pitchers. Um, some more of the variegated mon monstera. That is just amazing to me. I don't know what the appeal is, you know, I don't I don't know why people love that plant so much, but they do. Oh, now that one's cool looking. I can see that. <laughs> Rooted cutting, rare. More of the variegated monstera. Here's another one, philodendron uh cutting. 
So this is one out of thousands of potential ideas of, of creative avenues and creative possibilities that might be out there. Somebody somewhere along the, the road realized, hey, I've got this plant. A lot of people like it. I paid a lot of money for it. I wonder if I could sell it. They're easy to propagate. Hey, let's try it. I mean, that's, that's what it was. Somebody had the gumption, had the creative idea and the thought, let's see if I can sell this. And boom, it blossomed into a huge business for them. Okay. So look at what you have in your area and see if that's something that you could sell. Now, what if we narrow this a little bit? What if we change this to tree cuttings? And we could actually take the S off of there. I don't know if that'll make much difference in results. It might. Yep, it does give us a little bit more. Fig trees, fig tree cuttings. There's another one. Willow tree cuttings. More fig tree. Mulberry tree cuttings. Laquat tree scions uh, cuttings. Um, black cherry cuttings. Big cuttings. Um, hybrid uh, willow, weeping willow tree cuttings. That is interesting. Okay, so what about um, the black cherry is interesting to me because that... Uh, Some people refer to the choke cherry tree as black cherries, and that looks very much like what I would refer to as a choke cherry. And we have those all over out here. So I want to look at this one. Um, Okay, fresh cuttings from my black cherry trees will be wrapped in moist paper, then plastic upon shipping. Try to ship orders every day, so please let us know if we can help with anything. Cuttings will range from 4 to 12 inches. Instructions included with every order on how to propagate it. All right, so if I need that, I can go search on YouTube or Google and probably find out how to grow them and then write up my own instructions. Or I could buy one have their instructions, and then again, rewrite it in my own words, right? But amazing to me, if you know what you're doing, which people who are buying these would know, then you can do this, right? So that is just uh, phenomenal. And it doesn't, uh, um, they don't, they're not giving much on, uh, You know, they're not telling me the scientific name of this. So what I would do is wanting to know whether this is the same as the choke cherry tree. I'll do a search. Choke cherry versus black cherry. Um... Wild cherry and choke cherry trees, and also known as black cherry. I think it's the same thing. Black cherry, choke cherry's better cousin. Okay, so eattheweeds.com has some notes on it. So see, I'm. this is where you're going to take it a little step further now. I'm saying, okay, this is a, a plant that I know I have. My neighbor has it in his yard and wouldn't mind me cutting some of these off if I needed to to sell them. Okay, black cherries are a combination of sweet and bitter um, think of the black cherry as a choke cherry with some of the choke removed. Some. <laughs> All right. Choke cherries, uh, it was always a challenge to put in perspective. They're abundant. Beautiful cherries with their sharp, astringent taste. Um, black cherry, though it grows throughout the eastern half of North America. So it's real similar. Uh, so I would be comfortable listing the the black cherry or listing as black cherry the the trees that I know as choke cherry or ornamental choke cherry um I think that would be um perfectly acceptable there so that is that is interesting to me that we have that availability here 
All right, so tree cuttings and uh, um, all kinds of possibilities there, right? Lime tree, um, Shangri-La mulberry, um, fig tree, damson purple plum, tree unrooted organic cuttings for rooting, grafting fruit, unrooted organic cuttings. So these are, again, it's just a cutting. It's a plant that's being cut. That's all it is. Peach tree cuttings. I wonder... My neighbor's elderberry tree is growing unrooted cuttings, um, growing over into my yard. I could likely cut that off and sell it. I just found two, within this webinar, I just found two new products that I could sell myself on eBay that I have easy access to. All right, 30 sold, 9.95. 19 so again more than uh, than 100% sell through rate we're looking at uh, almost double on the sell through rate there 248 that is that is just phenomenal to me <laughs> it's just beautiful to see that absolutely absolutely love that um whole other opportunity, whole new potential there that until today I hadn't even thought of. And I'm Mr. Creative when it comes to eBay, right? I'm selling crazy creative things on my eBay account. And here I've learned something new. I hope you have too. So I thank you all for joining today. I don't see any questions coming in. What I want you to do now that you've watched this is put it into action. Look at what you have in your yard, in your neighborhood, in local forest or woods areas, in neighbors' yards. Uh, what do you have that people are throwing away? We went to a cabin recently up at Moon Lake uh, in Utah and um, walked away uh, down to the beach one day. And, and as we were coming back, um, either from the lodge or the beach, I can't recall, as I was coming back, walking back into our um, campsite and, and cabin area, I see one of the, the guys that works there trimming the rose, the wild rose bushes next to our um, fire pit. And I, uh, um, you know, as I'm doing this research here, I'm thinking, huh, well, would a wild rose, you know, would that, was that an opportunity that I let him just throw away in the dumpster that I could have done? Well, look at that. Cuttings. Wild rose. Yep. He threw away money. <laughs> right? If I plant one of those rose bushes in my backyard, I could sell the cuttings. Phenomenal. Just, just beautiful. Amazing to me that uh, that that potential and that opportunity is there so um, some sell more than others uh, of course but uh, go out there look around see what you have access to be willing to look into it who knows it might turn into two or three thousand dollars a month for you it might only turn into five hundred dollars a month what if you do that twice now we've got Two of them, we got a thousand dollars a month. What if you triple that? What if we do it three times, three different things? What if the third one is one of those thousand dollar a month? Now we've got two thousand dollars a month, right? You keep looking, you keep searching for for opportunities, and pretty soon you're making so much and you have so much opportunity, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to get a bigger property. You're going to have to grow your business, grow your life, and expand your abundance to deal with the potential that's coming in. So I hope you see it that way. I hope you recognize the, the great potential with being creative. Uh, this one webinar right here, again, we've only looked at a handful of, uh, of opportunities that come from one single key phrase search, cuttings. <laughs> one key phrase, and we only scratched the surface. We didn't even look at all that was there. 
right? Let's just, as I close here, I'm just going to back this up. Let's go back to the original search. Actually, I guess I could just uh, redo that search here, and we could just do a search for cuttings again. So I can't recall. I think it was 6,000. Is that what it was? Yeah, 7,000 and then 6,100. 6,000 different items. We looked at a handful out of that 6,000. There is opportunity here, guys, and every other creative strategy is the same. One search, one keyword, maybe two, and thousands of potential of items that are out there.